Good morning. I'm here in my backyard and I'm going to make my what's in the backpack video. Pretty much every hiking channel has one of these and I've just been putting it off. Actually, I did one a couple years ago and it ended up being like 30 minutes long. I didn't like the audio, so I just scrapped the whole thing. Well, let's just get into it or else this one's going to be 30 minutes long. All right, first things first. Let's look at the electronics on the outside. This is going to be my Nikon B700 camera. This is the one that does all the awesome zooms. Pretty cool. Yeah, unfortunately they have discontinued this camera. They don't make it anymore. You're basically going to have to spend a lot if you want to buy one. Next is the Garmin Explorer Plus GPS. This thing is amazing. I highly suggest everybody get one of these if you're going to do any kind of off-trail hiking. It's awesome. Uh, I think this was like right around 400 bucks or something like that. I'm not sure. And then you do have to get a subscription for it. I believe mine is like $12.99 a month. It's the most basic plan. You also get unlimited text messaging from this unit. Um, you can set three messages and then send those out as much as you want. You can put like 10 people on the recipients list. So uh, my three messages are basically like message number one is I'm at the trailhead. So I'll send that at the beginning of the hike and then at the end of the hike, you know, that I'm at the trailhead. And then number two is I'm at the destination. And number three is this is taking longer than I thought, but everything's okay. So, you know, if I get on something that's taking like way longer and people are expecting me back at a certain time, I'll send that one out just to let them know that I'm safe. But yeah, you can send those out as much as you want. And the really cool thing is when you send that message, it comes with an attachment that you can click on and it will show the exact position of where I was when I sent that message. I mean, you can like keep zooming up and you can see like the rocks that I'm sitting on. It's insane. Totally cool. So that way when, you know, you send the messages out, people can know exactly where you're at, where you're at what you're doing. Um, and then this is a GoPro Hero 9. This is actually not the one that I'm filming with right now. This is actually a second one. I had some mishaps, had to have a new one sent to me and I actually had two of them sent to me. So I've got an extra GoPro, but that's basically it. I've got a little attachment that it clips onto my backpack right there, just clips right in. I'm actually using the um, attachment right now for the tripod, but it's just quick release, sticks right there. You can just hit record and just walk with it. <laughs> this thing is an amazing camera. I only wish I would have got one of these earlier. But that's pretty much it for the electronics. Let me move these off the table so I don't knock them off and break them. And then next on the list is your water bladder. I, I mean, this goes without saying how vital water is. If I'm doing something epic, I'll fill this bad boy all the way up. It holds 100 ounces. And if I'm doing something real, real crazy, I'll actually take some extra bottles of water and stash those. I've done that on a few videos. But uh, yeah, this water bladder is 10 years old now. It's the same one. It's the only one I've ever had. It's crazy, but it's water still tastes okay, so I'm going to keep using it. All right. Let's get into the backpack now. The backpack itself is an Osprey Kestrel 48. It's pretty big. People like to make fun of me. They're like, why do you have that giant backpack? And I'm like, because it's convenient and roomy. And I can just stick anything in there that I want to without an issue. I like it. I did rip a big hole right here, so I had to put a little Long's Peak patch over just to cover up the hole. But I do love this backpack. It's rugged, and I put it through hell. All right, starting off here on the side pouch. Just got some little fingerless gloves. These are nice when it's not too cold, but you kind of want to have something on your hands. I can still operate my cameras with them, so these are nice. On the other side, I've got my little rubber palm gloves. Jamie actually got me these from some electrician store or something that he knows about, like three, four bucks. These are awesome. I suggest everybody get some of these. I mean, you can get them at like Ace Hardware, different variations, but they're just real lightweight gloves or cloth on the back, rubber on the palm. But these are nice. If you're going to be doing any kind of off-trail hiking where you're grabbing onto rocks or anything, 
These are helpful. They'll protect your hands. Plus, they protect them against cactuses. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been climbing up somewhere and just grabbed a cactus. And, I mean, it still hurts, but these will stop the majority of the prickles. All right. I'll usually carry a map right here in this big flat pocket. Just wherever I'm at, I'll just grab the map for that area and stick it in right there. All right, let's go through these front pouches. These are real handy and get to these real easy. I can just be hiking, just unzip it right here. But in the left one, I've got the convertible part of my hat. There's a trick to putting it on too. You got to put your head through here. Make sure your buttons are down and then just click them in. Boom. Keeps the sun off your head. Keeps the wind off your face. And like I've said in other videos, it looks super cool. Let's just take it off though. It doesn't look cool enough for the rest of the video. In this side, I've just got a couple buffs. These are real nice. You can put these over your neck, over your ears, over the top of your head. If you need a quick hitting little mask, you can pull it up over your mouth. Real nice, got two of them. And then I also had to put my whistle in here too. I used to like to hang the whistle off the front, but I just ran out of room, so it's in there. No big deal, I can still get to it pretty easily. Okay, got those two little pouches out of the way. This is gonna have some, some technical equipment in it. Well, socks aren't technical, but these are real helpful. If your feet get wet, if you, if you get sweaty, you know, and you need to freshen up, changing your socks and just readjusting your shoes makes a huge difference. Right here, we got the little mini tripod, the little extenders. I think I got this like free with a roll of film in 1998. This thing is old, but it works and it's super lightweight. I can't, I've used that thing so many times and I am funny. Got a couple fat ace bandages right here for my bad knee. If I'm getting ready to go down something that's pretty serious, I will wrap it up. I got a little GoPro flotational handle. If you hook your GoPro to this and drop it in the water, it'll float. Um, but I more like just kind of like to use just to hold it up right here for certain occasions. It's real nice. Plus, if you need that extra little bit to hold over the edge, right there. Got the head strap. Next time I get on some crazy class three, I'm gonna put that on. We'll get some sweet views with the head strap. Life straw. Spend the 20 bucks and get one of these. Ask for it for Christmas. Tell someone you want it for your birthday. Get one of these. I'm not kidding. Even if you have to use it just one time, it's worth the 20 bucks. I've used it dozens of times. This thing has saved my life before. And last but not least in this pocket, we've got the first aid kit. Nothing serious with this. It's chucked full with tons of band-aids. I found sometimes that you need a lot of band-aids to stop the bleeding. We've got a few like little towels with some Ziplocs, little roll of duct tape. That's nice. If you get a big blister on your foot, some duct tape is nice. Um, little tiny mini chapstick. As a rule of thumb, I don't wear chapstick, I don't wear sunscreen, and I don't wear bug spray. Got a little signaling mirror right here. This is nice. You can actually look through the viewfinder and aim the flash right where you want it to go. <laughs> and it works too, I've tested it. Got a couple lighters in there, got some aqua tabs. So in the crazy situation where I would need to fill up my camelback, I can stick one of those water tablets in there, clear the and clean the water so I can drink it. And then this little set of tweezers is rad. Look at that. And then it fits in this little holder right here. Beep. Super cool. And let's check now the main pouch. This is where all the good stuff is. And you can also get to the main pouch from the top here. You can unbuckle this and then open it up like a duffel bag. But like, why would you do that? So I just use the side, get you right in. First things first, got the stocking cap. I never leave home without that. Also, I've got the heated gloves. I'm telling you, 
you're probably sitting at home thinking that these are a gimmick, but I let Chris try them the other day and he's like, oh my gosh, I'm getting a pair. And if you do get a pair of these, here's just a quick tip. When I'm not using the gloves, I leave the batteries unplugged. You just, you plug them in right there. But when I'm not using them, I don't leave them plugged in. That prevents the accidental heating of the button, turning them on, and then using the battery up. I've actually done that before, so. Leave them unplugged. We've got the standard North Face Thermal Ball right here. Th these are amazing jackets. They weigh but just a few ounces. You can smash them up to a little ball. They fit anywhere. And these little suckers will keep you warm. I mean, it's just so nice sometimes. Even on a summer day, if you get up on some, you know, 13er or, or something, it's a little chilly up there, you throw this bad boy on. Super comfy. And then also, pretty standard, this is the windbreaker shell. This one is actually a North Face windbreaker slash rain jacket, so it's waterproof as well. I suggest getting the two-in-one. This thing is really nice. I mean, it's amazing. This thing cuts the wind down. If you're wearing this and it's windy, you, I mean, this is like noticeable. It helps. And then if you really need, you know, the wind protection and the warmth, put them both on, combine them. Amazing. I mean, unless you start getting like 10 degrees and below, that combo right there should work. It's pretty good. Okay, here's another thing. I just, I throw these in. I mean, they're really light. You could take these out in the summer. You probably wouldn't need them for those middle, middle summer months. But these are gonna be your gaiters. It just protects the tops of your shoes from snow piling in there. So you're not digging it out all day with that one finger scoop. That gets annoying. So, you know, just some little cheapy gaiters. These are not necessary. What else we got in here? Um, da, 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 da. These are gonna be my micro spikes. I'll tell you, next to like water in the backpack itself, these are some of the most important things you can carry. When I see people's like top 10 list of things you must have in your backpack, and then they have like sunscreen and sunglasses above these, it kind of makes me mad. I mean, you do, I mean, sunscreen and stuff, I guess that's important. But dude, these will make or break your hike. Like you'll get to some snow field and you're like, oh, I can't get through that. You pop these on, get across the snow, take them back off, you're good to go. And I love the Catulas. These are the Catula brand, 69.95 MSRP. I found them to be the best. I had some hill sounds, I broke them. And then if you are gonna be wearing gaiters plus spikes, you wanna put the gaiters on first. Sometimes you're out there, you already got your spikes on, you don't wanna take them off, put your gaiters on, then put the spikes back on, but trust me, unless you wanna buy some more spikes and break them like I did, put the gaiters on first. Last but not least in the main pouch, we got the hiking poles. Super nice. I know some people don't like hiking poles, think they make you look wimpy or something, but in my opinion, this gives you like four legs instead of two. And that's all there is to it, ready to go. And here's a quick tip for those of you that do use the hiking poles. Instead of just grabbing onto this thing and just holding on to it with your, with your muscles as you go up, I mean, that gets tiring. I know it's not a big deal, but it gets tiring. Instead, come up through the bottom come up through the bottom and then come down on it like that. And then you're locked in. You don't even have to grab it and you can just lean into it. You can just lean your weight. So you stab and just lean into it. You don't have to hold it. But when I'm coming down, it really doesn't matter. Half the time I'm holding them like this, just coming down, so not a big deal, but it really does make a big difference when you're coming up. Come up from underneath, grab down, and then like I said, you don't even have to hold onto it just kind of just sit there and then in the bottom of the backpack I like to carry some emergency winter gear even in the middle of the summer I carry this stuff got this ninja hood I think it's called like a balaclava not the pastry this is the hood I uh, got a couple extra buffs I feel like you can never have too many of these you can layer them up and then this buff right here is like way bigger and way thicker. So it's pretty nice. 
Got a couple extra little North Face gloves if I need something light. Got the little Oakley thing that goes over my mouth. There have actually been cases where I have used all this stuff. I've had all of it on because it just gets really cold. The Decalibron, I think I was wearing it all on that. It was so windy and cold. Underneath this top part, you have this extra little zipper part, pair of sunglasses. You never know, these are important too. You get over 10,000 feet on a sunny day and there's snow, that'll blow your eyeballs out. It's, it's always good to have an extra pair. Ziploc baggy. Got a handkerchief in there. Got some extra little tallets. And then this bag also doubles as like a waterproof pouch for my Nikon if it gets real rainy. I'll stick it in there, stick it in my backpack. And last but not least, this is the pouch that I use the most. And this is probably my most prized possession in the whole backpack. If I lost this, I would be devastated. I've got so much money wrapped up into this little thing. Extra batteries, a little GoPro light that goes on the top, that's like 50 bucks. Extra GoPro lens in case I break the one on the camera I'm using. You can just pop it off and stick another one on. It's an awesome idea. I love that design. I got extra memory cards, little wipes for my camera in case I just totally wipe it out, you know, drop in dirt or mud and I need something wet to wipe it off. I got those, another lighter, zip tie. I don't know, but that little sucker weighs. Beef stick, beef stick. The snacks always change. This just happens to be what I have in here right now. Uh, got some little honey pouches. Here's the black diamond headlamp. Real handy, just to always have, you never know. I mean, you might come across a cave that you might wanna go check out. Boom, you got your headlamp. Here are some micro doses for CBD slash THC energy. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get these in the state you live in, but you can get them in Colorado. And I love them. If I start getting tired, start getting a little weary, you pop a couple of these under your tongue, you're good to go. I always have an energy drink of some type or another. I used to love the Yerba Mate shots, but they quit making those for some reason, so I had to switch it over to the Ethan's Organic. It's about the same thing. Those are strong. I uh, got some more little bathroom towelettes plus some uh, extra Ziplocs because you definitely want to pack out what you pack in. Luckily, I don't have to use this stuff. I take care of business before the hike begins. I'm good. And then, yeah, this is the last thing in here. These are my cards. <laughs> I think I only handed out maybe like four or five of these all last year. But, yep, yeah, that's them. I've got like two more boxes of them in my car. <laughs> They're like this big. I don't know. Like I'll have those for the rest of my life. But yeah, that's pretty much the contents of the backpack. I always carry that stuff with me. It's not too heavy. And then here's a tip when you're wearing your backpack. I see some people walking around, they don't even have this part strapped. It's like, this is the most important part of the backpack in my opinion. You want this right over your hips. and you want it tight. Yeah, you might have a little fat roll hanging over like I do, but you want that tight, you want it sitting right there on your hips. That way, when you buckle this up, see how that's like not even putting pressure on my shoulders? All the weight's sitting right here on your hips and that's where you want it. And then before I end this video, let me show you some bonus gear that I use occasionally on certain hikes. I mean, like, I'm not going to take this if I'm going to go walk around Lily Lake. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm going to go do Long's Peak, Mount Meeker, anything class three or above, like I can do anything above class three, but I will bring this. It's nice. I mean, you're only looking at like 50, 60 bucks for one of these helmets. I'd highly recommend getting one. And then I stuck my GoPro mount to the top. So next time I use this, we're going to get some cool GoPro shots. We got the heated socks right here. 
I know you're laughing, right? Heated socks. Come on, Nick. But no, but I was like, for 30 bucks on Amazon, I'll give them a shot. Thing is, I haven't washed them yet. Woo! Oh! But they're nice. And then I've got my ice axe. I'm not even sure if that's what you call it. I've only used this twice. Um, as you can see, I have to have the little protectors on the end because I'll put my eye out or something with this thing. So I got this, I got the protectors. And yeah, that's it. Like I said, I don't take this stuff all the time, but when you need it, it's nice to have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next hike, y'all, peace.